Hi there. Welcome to the eighth video of this series where I will show you how you can apply the filters on a data frame to filter the data and get the specific values which you need for the analysis. As always, we will start with importing the pandas library by giving the alias name as pd and I'm pressing the control enter to execute the command. After that, we will going to read the excel file which I have been using in my examples and we will read the order sheet by indicating that we want to access the first sheet by indicating 0 and give it a name as orders. So with the help of pd.read underscore excel I can read the excel data. So I'll go ahead and execute this. It may take a couple of seconds based on how big or small the data set is or if it is your processor is busy or not. All right, let's go ahead and see the first two observation by using the head function, which I have been used so far in previous videos. And if I execute that, as you can see, I have the observations here. So that's good. And now let's go ahead and see some filtering in action. So first thing is, uh, let's say if we want to get the sales values, which are above 500 so here is the sales column so i don't want 261 and all of those things but i want to perform my analysis only on those values which are uh, either 500 or more than that then i can indicate using the orders this is the object that we created earlier and saying within the bracket notation order dot sales is greater than or equal to 500 and press uh, control enter to execute this and it will give you all the values which are above 500 as you can see 10,000 4,900 905 all of those values if you will see you know it will be more than five equal to or more than 500 all right now let's see how we can filter the uh, the text data so same order within the bracket notation again you need to specify order and uh, get the column name in the bracket notation because this is having the space that's the reason you need to get this piece in uh, bracket otherwise you could have accessed it like with the dot notation uh, with the orders all right and then specify that you don't want any of those orders which are indicated as high like this in this case and uh, just the low or medium or not specified so let's go ahead and execute that and uh, now you will see no high order priority all right so that's good now let's make it a little bit more complex <coughs> Uh, filtering with the multiple criteria now what we want is we don't want uh, order priority high as well as we want only small business so with the help of and operator and this indicates that both the conditions should match and then only you will get the data so in this case you will get only small business data where category is order priority is not equal to high that means only the low medium or not specified so imp another important thing is uh, you know making sure that uh, you have the small bracket with each condition otherwise uh, this this statement will give you an error uh, because you are specifying multiple condition with the help of either AND or OR operator. I will show you the OR operator in next month. And there is a requirement that uh, these conditions should be covered with the help of this small bracket to have the evaluation in place. All right. So now let's go ahead and uh, see this piece in action. If I go ahead and execute this, this is now executed. And if I, if you see, I will have the customer segment only as a small business 
and uh, the order priority will not be high that means only low not specified at all and if you will see down there there will be reduction in number of rows so here it has 1283 rows whereas if you will see over here the rows will be much more than that 6631 so that's the impact of end operator after that uh, I have the OR operator in case of OR operator only one condition will have to match uh, evaluated or match if first condition is met then it will not go to the second condition or if first condition is not met then it will go to the second condition for the evaluation so in this case the output that you should expect is only for the order priority which is not equal to high will be evaluated and it will not go to this second piece so in that way you will have all the business categories all right let's go ahead and execute that and if you if i go down over here as i mentioned that you will have all the business categories because that's the case with the or operator at any one condition either first second or if there is any third or fourth condition should match and that is equivalent to here in this case is only with that much statement was sufficient but sometimes you would have the requirement where you want to you know iterate through multiple uh, conditions because there may be a, a scenario where not just one condition is present but multiple conditions are present and you want to satisfy those conditions with the help of OR operator all right uh, let's go ahead and see a couple of other OR that are in that I have here and the next thing is is the similar one you can go ahead and execute this where we are simply saying that order priority equals to equals to low and order priority is not equal to high <clears throat> but this is useful because uh, we are saying with the help of AND operator that we want orders which are not equal to high and not equal to low that means only the medium and not specified so let's go ahead and execute this all right uh, now you will see only the not specified and medium because in case of end both the condition will be evaluated and then you will get the output in case of or only one condition will be evaluated if first condition is not met then it will go to the second condition but if first condition is met then it will not go to the second condition that's the difference here <coughs> we have uh, is in which is a shortened way of uh, using the or condition like this so let's say you have uh, 10 different uh, uh, or condition that you want to evaluate well instead of writing these 10 different condition what you can do is you can use the is in method so same syntax within the orders will specify the column name so here in the ship mode and we are saying that we only want ship code which are regular air or delivery truck so if there are any other values which you want you can get it over here so this is a shortened way and if I go and execute this <coughs> you will see the categories like uh, regular air and uh, delivery truck so as you can see this command is really helpful let's say you have uh, 15 or 25 different categories and instead of writing all that you will just specify it in the values over here and you will get the output or you will get the data set as per the required output so these are all uh, the different ways uh, by which you can filter the filter your uh, data frame and uh, there are you know many other uh, complex scenarios in which you would like to format or you would like to filter your data which are not covered here 
but these are most uh, mostly very generic or generally used uh, operations that you will find in any data analysis operation to get the required data output in your case so that's pretty much all and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic